Health officials in the United States are closely monitoring a deadly, deadly E. coli outbreak in Europe. It's a strain that has never been seen before, and it's spread to 10 countries there, with most of the cases originating in northern Germany. At least 16 people are dead, and more than 1,600 have become ill. Three Americans who'd recently traveled to Germany have suffered kidney failure, and health officials fear the bacteria may be to blame. Here's Dr. John LaPook. Experts suspect this deadly E. coli strain comes from contaminated fresh vegetables. But officials are unable to pinpoint the source of what they're calling super toxic bacteria. The thing that's striking is how quickly it has spread and it makes, uh, it makes public health officials very concerned that we haven't seen the peak yet. Stephanie Lucas's two sons have been hospitalized with the infection, which starts in the intestine and can affect the entire body. She says her boys may have eaten contaminated cucumbers, tomatoes, or lettuce. Public health officials are worried because there have been a growing number of antibiotic-resistant bacterial infections around the world. This one is especially virulent, causing kidney failure in roughly one quarter of patients, more than twice the rate seen in similar infections. Normally these uh, infections hit children and the elderly much harder. Th this outbreak seems to be hitting everyone hard. The FDA said today it is stepping up inspections of fresh produce imported from Europe. Officials noted there have been very few shipments of tomatoes, cucumbers, and lettuce from Germany and Spain this year. Harry? John, but what are the odds that this E. coli might end up in the United States? It's unclear because even if you don't get it from imported vegetables, it is possible to get it from somebody who recently returned from Europe. The incubation period is up to 10 days, so theoretically somebody could feel perfectly fine, pick it up in Europe, mm -hmm. come here feeling fine, then come down with the illness, get the bacteria on their hands, they shake your hands, you get the bacteria on your hand, you put your hand in the mouth. So obviously the answer is to do frequent hand washing, which we're always telling people to do anyway. Right. John LaPouffe, thank you.